think I might buy a car. What kind of car are you interested in buying? A Mercedes. They're really nice, but it could be expensive. Yeah, but I think I should buy a used Mercedes, not a new one. Why are you going to find a used Mercedes? I think I might try that place Julie suggested, Easy Credit Cars. I think I might buy a car. What kind of car are you interested in buying? A Mercedes. They're really nice, but it could be expensive. Yeah, but I think I should buy a used Mercedes, not a new one. Why are you going to find a used Mercedes? I think I might try that place Julie suggested, Easy Credit Cars. I think I might buy a car. What kind of car are you interested in buying? A Mercedes. They're really nice, but it could be expensive. Yeah, but I think I should buy a used Mercedes, not a new one. Why are you going to find a used Mercedes? I think I might try that place Julie suggested, Easy Credit Cars. I think I might buy a car. I think I should buy a used Mercedes, not a new one. I think I might try that place that Julie suggested. How long do you think it's going to take to repair it? I should be able to repair it in about an hour. It might take longer. Why, are you in a hurry? No, not really. But I have to finish this report by lunchtime. Oh, don't worry. I should be finished by then. Where did you learn to do this? You mean repair computers? At United Education Institute, they teach all kinds of vocational programs. I study in the evening while I work during the day. Hmm. I should do something like that. Yeah, it really made a difference in my life. You should check out their courses. I think I might. How long do you think it's going to take to repair it? I should be able to repair it in about an hour. It might take longer. Why, are you in a hurry? No, not really. But I have to finish this report by lunchtime. Oh, don't worry. I should be finished by then. Where did you learn to do this? You mean repair computers? At United Education Institute, they teach all kinds of vocational programs. I study in the evening while I work during the day. Hmm. I should do something like that. Yeah, it really made a difference in my life. You should check out their courses. I think I might. How long do you think it's going to take to repair it? I should be able to repair it in about an hour. It might take longer. Why, are you in a hurry? No, not really. But I have to finish this report by lunchtime. Oh, don't worry. I should be finished by then. Where did you learn to do this? You mean repair computers? At United Education Institute, they teach all kinds of vocational programs. I study in the evening while I work during the day. Hmm. I should do something like that. Yeah, it really made a difference in my life. You should check out their courses. I think I might. How long do you think it is going to take to repair? I should be able to repair it in an hour. It might take longer. I have to finish this report by lunchtime. Don't worry. I should be finished by then. I think I might like to go back to work. Really? That's great. We could use the extra income. I got a call from Channel 12. I think they're looking for an experienced reporter for their news division. Julie, that's fantastic. Do you think you might have the position? They want to interview me on Monday, so I think I have a good chance. I think I might like to go back to work. Really? That's great. We could use the extra income. 
I got a call from Channel 12. I think they're looking for an experienced reporter for their news division. Julie, that's fantastic. Do you think you might have the position? They want to interview me on Monday, so I think I have a good chance. I think I might like to go back to work. Really? That's great. We could use the extra income. I got a call from Channel 12. I think they're looking for an experienced reporter for their news division. Julie, that's fantastic. Do you think you might have the position? They want to interview me on Monday, so I think I have a good chance. I think I might like to go back to work. We could use the extra income. Do you think they might offer you the position? Today, in Unit 1 of Book 3, we're going to be talking about modal auxiliary verbs. Now, what are modal auxiliary verbs? Modal auxiliaries are helper verbs that can express many different things. Did you hear that? I said modal auxiliaries are helper verbs that can express many different things. I used a modal auxiliary verb that we first learned in Book 1, Unit 7, the verb can. Modal auxiliaries are helper verbs that can express many different things. Now, can is a word that is used to express ability. For example, I can teach English in this video program. You can learn modal auxiliary verbs. Can expresses ability. But can also can be used to express permission. For example, Donna says to Kelsey, Kelsey, you can stay up late tonight to watch your program. Now, what other modal auxiliary verb have we learned that expresses permission? Did you say may? Because in Unit 3 of Book 2, we learned the word may. May also can be used to express permission. Donna says, Kelsey, you can stay up late tonight. Clayton asks, Mommy, may I stay up late too? May is used to express permission. But also, we can use may to express possibility. For example, I might say, uh, I may go to the beach later this afternoon. May is used to express possibility or permission. Now, in this unit, we're going to be learning and talking about two more modal auxiliary verbs, could and might. These are all words that are used to express ability, permission, or possibility. We'll learn about that now. But first, let's take a look at the structural way that we use these modal auxiliary verbs in a sentence. First, we have our subject, which of course can be either a noun, a pronoun, or a name, what we call a proper noun. So we start with a subject and then the modal auxiliary plus the base form of the verb. For example, they, our subject pronoun, can, our modal auxiliary, work. 
They can work. Let's try another one. She is our subject pronoun. Could is our modal auxiliary. And read is the base form of the verb. She could read. How about another one? The dog is our subject. That is what? A noun, right? The dog may bark. Ruff, ruff. The dog may bark. And John might, is our modal auxiliary, drive. How are we going to get to the movies tonight? Oh, John might drive. You see? Let's look at some more of these. So we have our subject, we have our modal auxiliary verb, and we have the base form of the verb. They, modal auxiliary, can, base form of the verb, work. She could cook. She is the subject, in this case a subject pronoun. Could is the modal auxiliary. Cook is the base form of the verb. He may leave. David might buy a car. David might buy a car. Buy is the base form of the verb. A car, of course, is, uh, uh, gives us more information. Now, the car could be expensive. The car could be expensive. The base form of the verb in that case is be, and the more information is from the adjective expensive. Now, we should understand how to form these sentences very well now. And oh, guess what? There is another modal auxiliary that we have learned before, haven't we? The modal auxiliary verb should, which we learned in Book 2, Unit 18. Let's go on. Now, let's play Dialogue 1 from uh, book three, what we've just seen where David is talking to Monica about his desire to buy a car. Let's watch, shall we? I think I might buy a car. What kind of car are you interested in buying? A Mercedes. They're really nice, but it could be expensive. Yeah, but I think I should buy a used Mercedes, not a new one. Where are you going to find a used Mercedes? I think I might try that place Julie suggested, Easy Credit Cars. 